In this video, I'll show you how to export orders from WooCommerce for free. Let's get straight into it. All right, for example, on our demo store, we've actually got quite a few orders here made by yours truly. So I want a quick and simple way to export this particular order. Maybe I want to export it within a particular time frame. Maybe I want to export the orders along with the custom metadata as well. So I'll show you how to achieve all that and more. So the first thing you want to do is just navigate over to plugins and then add new. So to achieve this, we do need a custom plugin, all right? So we're just going to search for order export. And the plugin we need is this one here where it says advanced order export for WooCommerce. Let's go ahead and install this. Let's activate. And now we should have a new option which says export orders. So let's click on it. All right. So to include custom fields in the export, we just need to specify it here where it says custom fields. And then we can choose from our custom fields, right? Again, I don't think I've got that many custom fields, but in your case, you'll just go ahead and add the custom fields that you want to include in the export. So coming back up top, we can filter by the order date, whether it's paid, the completed date, we can add a date range here. We can customize the file name. And then of course we can choose the file format, whether that's in XLS, CSV, or some other format, all right? So I'm just gonna select a CSV and I'm gonna keep mine super simple. And I personally only wanna export orders. That's been completed, for example. All right, so I'm just gonna hit save settings and then export. All right, that's exported fine. So let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, and this is the only order that's actually been completed um, from the thousands of test order that we've actually done. But here we can see it's working as it should, right? So we've got all the information that we need. And if we added any custom fields, we'd be able to see as well. So let's quickly include pending payment processing and on hold orders as well. Let's save again and then let's export this. All right, now let's go ahead and import it. Okay, and here we can see more orders. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.